Burst pipe a few weeks ago left a Waverly nursing home with an inch of water. A deputy that responded to the emergency saying it looked uninhabitable for the foreseeable future. It was home to around 30 people and while it appears as though they and staff are being brought back into that building, there are still some lingering questions tonight as to how that process is going. 1011 Sam Cobb is looking into this for us and the plan to get those folks back in their homes. On the morning of September 9th, Emergency response crews were outside the Mulberry at Waverly, helping evacuate residents after their home was flooded by water. Lots and lots of ceiling damage onto the floor and of course a tremendous amount of water. It was about uh, a couple inches high in some areas. Um, as we walked through some of the rooms, obviously uh, the majority of the damage was water. Immediately following that incident, the approximately 30 residents were transported less than a half mile away to here at the Waverly Community Center. The Department of Health and Human Services tells us every nursing facility is required to have a plan prepared to deal with this type of emergency. It appears Mulberry's plan is unfolding, as some residents and staff can be seen coming and going from the facility, only a possibility if the building has been deemed safe, according to DHHS. What the plan consists of, as well as how the residents are being brought back into the building as repairs are made, is still unclear. We have reached out to Mulberry staff for an interview multiple times, but no one has agreed to go on camera nor provided any further details. Reporting in Waverly, Sam Cobb, 1011 News.